The Back Dudegan mountain range is spectacular and that's one of the things that's not often promoted to potential visitors to South Korea. It's a stunning landscape during the summer, but winter brings a whole new experience and one of the places you just have to visit is Yongpyeong Resort with its 28 brilliant ski slopes, which is only due to the fact it gets two and a half metres of snow each winter. And I suppose that's what makes this resort the perfect place to hold a Winter Olympics, which is exactly what's going to happen here in February 2018. Now, the resort itself is set on over 17 million square metres. And I've got to tell you, it's got every type of winter sport venue that you could ever hope for. In fact, it's even got a 45 hole golf course over the back there. This place is absolutely brilliant for the winter sports enthusiasts. This includes state-of-the-art facilities, all built in the past few years, such as the El Pantia Biathlon Centre, the Cross Country Ski Centre, the incredible ski jumping facility, a snow park and the Yongpyeong Alpine Centre, home to the giant slalom. The resort itself has some amazing restaurants. It's got great bars and shopping as well. And it's all of these things that's made it Korea's ski mecca come wintertime. Now that I'm geared up, I've taken a gondola ride to get a bird's eye view of the resort. This is an absolute must for first time visitors. 1,453 metres above sea level and nestled in the Bak Dudegan mountain range, we reach Dragon's Peak, the place for serious ski lovers. Well, I've got to tell you, Dragon Peak is pretty spectacular, but there's no way I'm taking the 1.6k run down from the top of the mountain. I'm going to start off with one of the other 28 different runs you've got here. They cater for all different skill levels, which is perfect for an Aussie like me who's got no idea. This place is all about skiing. The season commences here typically in November and runs through until the end of February. And for Aussies who will be familiar with Japan or Canada as a ski destination, the Koreans, well, they've got something of a hidden gem here that ski fanatics are just discovering. Something that will be much more prominent when the Winter Games are broadcast internationally. Now, it's my turn to give it a go. Like any winter destination in the Northern Hemisphere, it really does get cold here, so rug up. Minus 14 degrees is a fairly warm day. The great thing is the clothing and the ski gear is all here on hire, so you can either shop to your drop at one of the local shops or you can hire it here. And the best thing about the resort for me are the people. Well, what a fantastic day. I've got to tell you, I've never had so much fun. Those ski slopes are an absolute ball. There are so many things to do. I really get why people just love these winter sports. They are brilliant.